All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakudash, Thawari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, Thawari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth as worms, double honor to our apostles and that great millstone, and salutation and blessings to the old flick. This is just going to be a quick video on this this right here. It says, Macomb, man, uh, beats his roommate to death after he, after he eats his Taco Bell. Official say, <laughs> hey, and you can just tell it's, this guy's through. Is it just probably some drugged out Edomite, some drugged out ass, crackhead Edomite, heroin, heroin addict Edomite? You, you can tell from just looking at him. And there's many other stories like this where where you have people do crazy things like this. They beat, beat their roommate to death or kill their cousin over some food. But the reason I want to do this, do this lesson, uh, Spirit gave me this, uh, the scripture. Cause I, I was going to leave it alone, but I was, I was just sitting here thinking that Spirit gave me this. Uh, and this, I believe it's Matthews. This is, uh, let me grab it real quick. This is, Matt, oh, this is Luke 23 and verse. I'll start at 28. But Yahweh shall turn and said unto unto them, unto them, and said, said, daughter, daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are come coming, in in that which they shall shall say, Blessed are the barren and the womb that never bear, and the paps which never which never gave suck. Speaking about. 70 AD and that horrible, horrible time that came upon Jerusalem when the Romans came through and really it was from 65 AD to 70 AD was that ultimate, ultimate purge came in 70 AD when they just ransacked Jerusalem completely. It was just decimated. It was completely decimated. Jerusalem was never the same ever since then. It was completely demolished, man. The Lord brought down hell upon Jerusalem, especially when you go into a little bit of the history of it uh, in, the, in the time of 70 AD and how terrible and dreadful it, it was, man. That place was, on, that place was on fire. In other words, Jerusalem was in fucking flames, man. People were being killed, slaughtered. That was a brutal, brutal scene for our people. And that's because they forsook the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. And, and that is definitely going to happen in even times 10 in this time. They, then shall they then shall they begin to say to the mountains fall on us and come and to the hills cover us for if they do these things in a green tree what shall be done in the dry and if this happens the main point I want to get if they do this in a in a in a uh, in Yahweh shall speaking about how they executed them but using it for this if people act the way they act in a in a in a green tree while the time is pleasant, while the times are are, are, are you can still go to Walmart, you can still you can still uh go to Taco Bell, you can still go to uh to to Meyer, you know, Target and do all these things. You can still enjoy life, if you will. If you if you if you can say that. You can enjoy your life. If people act like this in a green tree, how much more when there's no food, when there's scarcity, when there's famine, when there's rioting, when there's people dying on the mass number, how much, how much more is this something, something so little, somebody's Taco Bell meal in the refrigerator, how much more and how much gruesome is it going to get upon the planet Earth? And it's going to get a lot worse. This is, this, and this is one of many stories. This has happened multiple times over and over again throughout the United States of America. But it's going to get worse. Worse. It's going to get worse. That's the whole point. That's it's, and people are already on edge. They're already on edge, man. It's only going to increase and intensify, which is good because it brings forth the promises of the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shai. This is Matthew twenty-four in verse verse ten, and then and then shall many be be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall shall abound, and you see iniquity, which is wickedness, 
is abounding. It stay, it all, all, we're, we're in a world full of wickedness, man. You can't say iniquity isn't abounding in America and across the four corners of the earth, specifically here in America. Iniquity abounds, man. And it, and it only increases. So because iniquity abounds, evil, sin, the love of many shall wax cold. And that word cold goes into psychos, which is being psychopathic. These motherfuckers are psychopaths, man. Crazy people. Crazy people. And that's only going to get worse, man. People are going to get more crazy. People are going to lose their fucking minds. And good. Good. These things need to happen. These things need to happen. And in this website, this is a, a say this, uh, this, this, um, site on Instagram, this page on Instagram, they show a bunch of shit, man. Look at these. Let me show y'all this, this shit. Look at these little, look at these little nigglets. These little niggers. Look at them. Look at them scurry. Look at them. Somebody needs to shoot these niggas. Somebody needs to shoot these niggas. Look at look at these fucking rap scallions. Look at these monsters. These fucking monsters, bro. And hey, I'm with the white man. Kill these niggas. Kill these monkeys. Look at this this, this one right here. The Edomites. It's an Oakland County parents charge after allegedly of sex uh child sexual abuse oh my god yeah look, look at them through ugh. freaks and weirdos nothing but freaks and weirdos on the planet earth man the spirit of vengeance needs to needs to fucking shower on the on the planet earth which it will man the lord is going to allow this craziness and this freakism to intensify so his judgment can reign man so a judgment can can come down from the heavens. This is Second Ezra five and verse in verse two. But iniquity shall be shall be increased above that which thou now seest or that thou hast heard long ago. So evil is only going to increase, man. Evil is only going to increase. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. But that's good because it's going to bring forth the kingdom of heaven. Going to bring forth the kingdom of heaven. That's what we want. We want the kingdom of heaven to be brought forth. We want the we want the chip to come. Because the chip is going to bring forth the kingdom of heaven. We want all these evil things to happen so the good can come. So that the good can come. I'll get it right here. This is a... This is a... I think it's four. Second Ezra's four and verse... Second Ezra 4 and verse 28. But as concerning the things where whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that that then cannot it come that is sown with good. So the good cannot come until the evil comes. So all the evil must come so the destruction can come. Then the good can come. So we want evil to happen. We want these bad times to come so the good can come. So the good of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shimei, Al-Shai, can come. That's why we want these things to happen so the good can come. For the evil seed have, have been sown in the hearts of Adam. From the beginning, and how much ungodliness have it brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth into the time of thresh, threshing come? Ponder now, therefore, how much the fruit of wickedness of the grain, the grain of evil seed, have brought forth. So, think about how much evil has been brought forth since that time till now. And when the ears, which represents like the when it's when it's uh, ready shall be cut down like when you're when you're dealing with corn when you deal because the bible uses a lot of metaphors dealing with uh garden tree or husbandry the when talking about ears it's not talking about literal ears it's talking about the ears of uh, the, the corn when corn is ready to be cut down 
which which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill? So when it's ready, when the time is ready, then answer I and said, how, how and when shall these things come to pass? Wherefore are of our years few and evil? And he answered me, me saying, do not, do not th thou haste above the highest for the, for thou hastest in vain, for thy haste is in vain above him. For thou has has much exceeded. So that's basically the point. But dealing with 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 the with the point I was getting at, we want all this evil to come so the good can come, man. And that's what the angel was trying to explain it to Ezra. Look, all these things need to happen, then the kingdom can come, then righteousness can come, then the the heavenly Father will establish the the kingdom of heaven. But first, all this evil, all this hell must happen. Jacob's trouble must happen. The lake of fire must happen. The chip must happen. And when I say the lake of fire, that's not people being tossed into the lake of fire. Uh, the, the entire time they died and the Lord last throwing them to the lake of fire. No, it's one lake of fire that is going to happen when America burns up. I don't know what the hell Nate Nate's smoking. But, yeah, that's basically the point, man. Lord will hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakodash, and with that, Shalom.